What's going on guys, Adam Ivy. Just wanted to make a quick intro to share a story that impacted me pretty heavily recently. One of my students, Renee, who lives in the UK, who I'm not able to go see in person because of a travel ban, that will be in the future. But I wanted to share her story about her experiences within my Cell Music Masterclass 2.0, the mindset, the tactics, the actual journey that she's been on. And I can't say it any better than she can, so I'm gonna share that with you. My name is Renee Rain. I am a singer, songwriter, and producer. And I am, Adam Ivey's student of the Cell Music Masterclass 2020 um, for Magnetic Marketing. Um, I've actually known Adam for quite some time now actually um, and I came across Adam some years ago as I was always hunting and looking for um, tips and, and, and knowledge and advice about how to market myself as an independent artist. Um, I have been an independent artist and self-managed for as far back as I can remember, at least five, six years. And I was uh, living abroad. I was living in Estonia originally uh, for five years. Um, and my career skyrocketed over there. Like I became very well known. Um, but I had reached a, a, a ceiling and I decided to move back to the UK. Um, so I came back to the UK probably around the mid, towards the end of 2018, um, and then decided to relaunch my career um, going into 2019. Um, but that was quite a bit of a struggle because I was actually dealing with um, some depression, or quite heavy depression actually, and... I was a bit lost, I guess you could say. I didn't really know where to go with my career. I just knew that I wanted to be a solo artist. Um, everything I had done in Estonia was amazing. It really set the bar and a platform for me to kind of propel my career to the next level. Um, and so I was looking for that that kind of wisdom from someone who knows um, with, without ha because I didn't have a team of my own. I didn't really know anyone coming back to the UK. So I was just online and yeah, I came across Adam's videos and I was searching for music marketing. I would just put that in and you know, there were videos from like Rick Barker who actually came to actually end up meeting. Um, and for those of you who don't know who uh, Rick Barker is, he's also a, a music marketing and managing coach. And he's also the ex manager of Taylor Swift. Um, and there were other really good platforms like Burstamo, who are all so really great at giving like free information about how to really like push yourself and get yourself exposed and out there um, in the music industry and to, you know, sell your music and make money um, independently. And Adam was one of those videos that I just kept stumbling across. And, you know, they're all really great platforms, but for me, there was something that just drew me to Adam's videos. I guess he's so open and so genuine and he tells it like it is, you know, it doesn't sugarcoat anything. Um, and I just, I just could consume it and it was entertaining. And, you know, obviously he gets that knowledge out there quick and fast. He talks super, super fast. Um, but at the same time, it's comprehensible and it makes a lot of sense. And then I came to learn about Adam's his own testimony on how he became who he was and that just pulled me right in so i always every time like i clicked that bell and i subscribed and every single time there was a video post i watched it and i took notes and i really felt like adam was just talking to me on a personal level even though he didn't know who, who i was uh, we'd never met he's in america i'm in london uk and yeah, it, it was just comforting to have someone there that could just spill that knowledge so fast and, and so frequently. So um, I guess one day I started to comment under his videos and then I followed him on Instagram and then he would actually respond to some of the comments and I was like, wow, that, that's amazing um, that he would take that time. Um, and so then what really then struck me was when he followed me back on Instagram and I swear I had like a bit of a starstruck moment because it was like this massive 
marketing guru following me um and then from there you know what i just was very bold and i went into the dms i slid into the dms of adam ivy and i asked him you know would he mentor me because i was at a point where i wanted to launch my career i knew what i wanted i wanted to do a project an ep i'd had a bit of a a, a, a like a low point in my life and I, I was ready to 10x i was ready to do what i did in estonia and 10x it in the uk so um i knew i needed that that mentor and i was searching for it and i knew adam was that guy so anyway fast forward a little bit i ended up getting a dm back from adam and i was again super shocked and super gassed um if those people in america don't know what gassed is um it's like not adam ivy's um indigestion <laughs> that he has on his videos um but uh it, it gas means like you know you're you're super excited and and just blown away by the the situation you're you're like yeah you're you're just starstruck basically you're just like oh my god so um yeah we talked a bit and I, you know he then suggested that i uh, sign up for his upcoming masterclass which was going to start in april 2020 um, and he said he would fast forward me onto the um, waiting list. Um, and obviously the course was not free so, and I knew that, but I was ready to invest in myself. And fortunately I was full time in music, but I was making money. Like I was making good money. So I knew I could financially support myself and I could afford the course. And he did openly say, do not do this course unless you can do it comfortably. You don't have any money issues and you can pay for the course and not worry about it. And so that's what I did. Fast forward now to 2020. Um, I'm about to, and I'm following Adam's advice, by the way, and his videos, just watching his videos, and I hadn't joined the class yet. And I noticed that I was getting results with the just the little information that he was given. I mean, he goes so deep on the class. So, you know, for me, I was already fully engrossed and using the material. Um, Anyway, fast forward to 2020 and we're getting ready for the class and it's in April, which is my birthday month. And so it was a birthday present to myself and I was so pumped and excited. And I was like, Adam, I'm ready. I can't wait. And he was like, great. I know you're going to kill it. You're going to, you're, you're, you're going to be amazing. And you know, I'm, I'm, I, I'm sure I'm going to do like a spotlight on you one day. And when he said that to me and that seed went into my head i just held on to that i was like man i want to make him proud like i i want that to happen so bad not just for myself but i want to prove to him that his course works you know so anyway we sign up and then lockdown happens and i was my my i was at the pinnacle of my career i was about to launch i had major gigs lined up i was booked to open up for a major legendary uk soul artist by the name of omar who's literally performed with everyone. He has an MBE and we were going to perform together and I was going to launch my EP on that night. That was a sold out gig um, and paid that couldn't happen because of lockdown. And then the Monopoly, ha not the Monopoly, sorry, the domino effect happened and all my gigs got cancelled and I also ended up losing my main source of income, which was a contracted... Um, singing contract um with a company for an app which adam knows about because i sent him the app on his birthday um and everything paused um and then i ended up having a massive public anxiety attack um which i won't go too much in detail now but basically i ended up taking myself to the hospital that very day and seeing a doctor and i i just at that point i think because it was so catastrophic like everything happened all at once like I had so much going for me like my music was on radio I was getting booked I was making money and all of a sudden that just stopped and lockdown was happening I didn't know what this was about what this pandemic could be and I just freaked because I felt like the whole walls were closing on me and that I wasn't going to get to do what I had planned to do and come here to do. And I wanted to fly out of the country and go back to Estonia, but I couldn't. 
So after that, I ended up struggling financially. Like I said, I lost my main source of income. And um, I was wanting to release my EP still, and I wanted to still pursue the music. Like I wasn't gonna give up, but I, I was just at rock bottom. Um, and end up having to sign on uh, to Universal Credit, which is, um, you know, a social um, government uh, payout uh, for those that don't have a job or income. Um, then uh, I anyway started to make my way back through uh, the swamp of depression and um, Adam was like, yeah, the class is opening up. So signed up to the class and you can imagine I just lost my income. So everything I had calculated that I was going to spend on myself and invest um, was no longer there. And my savings, I didn't have very much at all. So um, I had to borrow money from my friend. I begged her to loan me um, the money to just get on the course and I would pay her straight back because I was waiting for a um, a payment to come through and it did um, but she needed to trust me that I could afford to pay her back and fortunately the money was coming but it just hadn't arrived yet but the class was starting and I didn't want to wait I knew I had to do it now um, so I did and then 20 days of focus challenge happened and that really shifted gears I mean the results were flying fast it went from I had, when I first joined, I had 2,000 followers and a lot of those followers, I I did the mis I had made the mistake of acquiring the services of these online um, marketers um, who take your account basically and boost your following. Um, I thought they were a legitimate company, um, but I had so much issues with my account I had to break away from that company and, and I found out in the end a lot of my followers were fake. So I was back to like 2,000 followers. Um, anyway, the good news is I, I just like hit the, I hit the ground running with the 20 days challenge and I, I did every single day, um, you know, making content, 50, 50 minutes a day being creative, reading, learning, watching videos, etc. And it shot up. I went from 2,000 to 4,000. I'm now I'm nearly at 4,000 followers. Um, I end up releasing my EP during lockdown and I had, I released it on my birthday, which I also spent during lockdown. But I decided to put a spin on things because I had intended to, um, do like a, a launch party, a listening party. So I did that online on YouTube and it was very successful. Um, even I had some trolls online who tried to ban my live stream, um, but we still persisted and the video is still up on, on YouTube. So if you subscribe to me, you can go and watch the listening party of my EP. Um, and then on the day of release, um, just by following Adam's guidelines and strategies, and by this point, by the way, I'm fully into the course and I'm following the, the steps. Um, and I think the the key element for me um, was the the mindset, getting that positive mindset focus and, and just being determined no matter what and sticking to it and, and being consistent. Um, so that wasn't really a struggle for me. I really did kill it. And it showed in my results, in my data, in my analytics. And then when my uh, EP launched, um, I had 2000 streams on the day of release. And my EP straight away went into the charts. Um, it went into Amazon charts at number uh, 70, I believe. And then it went up to number 40. And I was, I was under like big names uh, who I was inspired by and my EP was sitting above there, released my single. Um, and uh, it, it got me interviews on, on uh, radio in Texas um, and, uh, and in, um, in Philly as well. And yeah, it, it just blew up. I just, online, everybody was beginning to learn who Renee Rain was, especially in the UK. Um, and I was getting offers for online shows and and DJs were coming at me for jingles and ads 
and all those good type of stuff everything you could want in a pr um it was happening for me and it was just increasing day by day um so much that when i started to really get in on all my social media platforms because i don't just use instagram i use youtube i use twitter i use linkedin um and i use facebook and adam structures you very well in how to monopolize those social medias uh, platforms um, and then I decided to form my own emailing mailing list so I did all of that stuff and YouTube my YouTube was increasing immensely because I was every day um, uploading something um, whether it be a cover video um, I then was approached by the voice um, the voice scouts contacted me and asked me if I would like to participate in their next live shows which was going to be filmed in 2021 I ended up having an audition on zoom which was very strange I had to play the keys and sing to the producers of the show and the vocal coaches which was hella nerve-wracking um, but they were so impressed and they had just found me on YouTube and that was just for me uploading videos cover videos and they were really impressed with my vocals However, they did tell me that unfortunately I wasn't successful to go onto the live TV shows. Um, so that was that. But they thanked me for auditioning and said I should try again next year. Um, so fast forward to 2021. I now have um, a and coming at me from um, all the major labels. So Sony, Warner, Universal other main ones that have all reached out to me at some point and asked to send me their my music send me their music to them sorry that was amazing for me and it just didn't stop there <laughs> so everybody was starting to hear my music and I thought this was great but I knew I wasn't making any money and this was a huge problem for me and I know Adam talks about you know having multiple streams of income so that was my goal i wanted to have multiple streams of income i wanted to 10x my career from what i had in estonia i was earning thousands of pounds just from music like i said i was full time and to go from that to nothing in such a short space of time was catastrophic for me i mean i had to move back in with my parents um you know i signed on and it, yeah it was really bleak i was going for um funding and not getting it i couldn't fund my music videos and it, it was just a really really rough time for me like i wanted to give up i was almost at that point where i felt i was probably not wanting to be here anymore but at the same time i knew that i had to to go on i needed to prove that this worked so after receiving all this um positive feedback about my music um, I decided to, I, I felt that I, there was a bit missing, which was the producing side. I wasn't focused on that. I was, um, so I decided to switch my career a little bit, adjust it and started trying to make beats again. And I used the whole of lockdown, the whole of 2020 to relearn how to produce. I watched YouTube videos and I also then, um, learn how to use logic properly and, and and that went from just making beats to then mixing my vocals and recording my vocals and releasing music um and eventually then people started to ask to collaborate with me i collaborated with, with a a rapper in texas and i brought out a track he was my first placement um and I uploaded my beats on to BeatStars um, to sell my beats online and everybody loved my beats but no one was buying it. I wasn't making any money at all and I was really at that point where I wanted to give up. I felt like I probably wasn't going to, to be successful doing that and I tried and I tried and I adjusted and I, I asked the group, you know, we have a private Facebook group. I asked the group members like, what am I doing wrong? What do I need to do? And I kind of just stopped worrying about the money and I just focused on solely putting my content out there. Anyway, fast forward again into the middle of 2021 and an opportunity comes up where um, a female organization that supports females and women in the music industry contacted me and asked me to join their or apply to join and become a member 
Um, the founder is Carla Marie Williams, who's a songwriter, and she's written with the likes of Beyonce. She wrote some of Beyonce's biggest hits. Um, and I'm now in contact with her. And she's shared my tweets and everything like that. I've built like a community of women who support me and we support each other. Um, I then came across an um, opportunity to work with a uh, top 10 billboard um, producer and I'm now working with them. I'm working with um, Fred again and Camille who are very major players in the UK in the music scene. Um, he's worked with Ed Sheeran, Stormzy, they work with Little Mix, um, and ek you name it and they're now in my camp. I'm now officially working with them in the studio. Um, I then got to uh, offer to work for Sony um, doing catalogue and library work. So I've just been in the studio. I recorded some vocals for an album um, for Sony. Um, I, I've been doing some briefs for Sony as well. And I'm now also going to be working with major artists. Um, I had some offers uh, put on the table and I went from literally struggling to sell my beats struggling to be a successful artist um and then i realized i'm i'm a producer too so i i utilize that um and now yeah like i've increased my income i've 10x'd it basically and it's it's just amazing i'm still overwhelmed and it is this has all happened in the space of six months and it's uh, this is the full year now since joining the music masterclass and i'm absolutely blown away of how much my life has changed um there is so much more that is going on but i can't even fit it into this video because it would just be so long but um yeah i i i'm now a f i'm back on my feet i am earning money um my dms are full full with artists asking to work with me asking to 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 work on their projects to produce their eps to remix to to collaborate and they're all like sharing my stuff so it's absolutely awesome and i i cannot thank adam enough for how much he's inspired and changed my life he has been the pinnacle of a mentor or what a mentor should be and even though he hasn't had time for me every single day like he is spread so thinly there are so many of us but yet he still finds the time to contact me, to call me, to message me and to say I'm doing an amazing job. And that's everything you could ever want in a mentor. So thank you, Adam. And if you have not signed up to the Music Masterclass yet, if you can do it, you have nothing to lose. Investing in yourself is probably the best thing you could ever do. Renee, I can't thank you enough for sharing such a heartfelt, authentic story with us and your testimony on how this program has really had an impact in your life. All of her links will be in the description box below. Now, if you're ready to invest, if you're ready to go all in, if you're ready to have a transformation similar to Renee or better, little competition for you, Renee, go to sellmusic.com. All that information will be in the description box below. This can change your life and I want to be a part of that. Hope to see you in the class. Welcome to the Cell Music Masterclass, where we give you the creator proven advanced strategies with actionable tactics and techniques to help you monetize your music and develop a powerful online brand with your instructor, Adam Ivey.